烧，银铃声，卡埃拉铃，阿萨卡哈拉铃，扎卡拉铃，烧埃铃铃声。Namaste. Welcome to Shrimad Devi Bhagavatam. The Sanskrit verse you just heard is the Sodashi Mantra. Sodashi Mantra is the most powerful and beneficial Vedic prayer. It invokes the Shakti of Goddess Lalita, also known as Tripura Sundari, Mahamaya. Durga and many other names. Who is Goddess Lalita? This Shrimad Devi Bhagavatam is her story. Listen, and you will gain immense spiritual benefit. Here begins Chapter One. Questions by Shaunaka and others. I meditate on the beginningless Brahma Vidya, who is Sarva Chaitanya Rupa, of the nature of all consciousness. May she stimulate our buddhi to the realization of that Brahman, as described in the Upanishads. Shaunaka said, "O highly fortunate Sutta, O noble Sutta." You are the best of persons. You are blessed, inasmuch as you have thoroughly studied all the auspicious Puranas. O sinless one, you have gone through all the eighteen Puranas composed by Krishna Dvaipayana. They are full of esoteric meanings. The Puranas are endowed with five characteristics: history. Cosmology with metaphorical illustrations of philosophical principles, secondary creation, genealogy of kings, and of manvantaras or the period of a manu's rule, consisting of seventy-one divya yugas, or three hundred six million seven hundred twenty thousand terrestrial years. O sinless one. It is not that you have read the Puranas like a parrot, but you have thoroughly grasped the meaning of them all, as you have learnt them from Vyasa himself, the son of Satyavati. Now it is our good merits that you have come at this divine, holy, excellent Vishvasan Kshetra, free from any defects of Kali Yuga. O Sutta. The munis assembled here desire to hear the holy Purana Sanghita that yields religious merits. So describe this to us with concentrated mind, O all-knowing Sutta. Live long and be free from the threefold sorrows of existence, O highly fortunate one. Narrate to us the Purana equivalent to the Vedas. O Sutta, those persons that do not hear the Puranas are certainly deprived by the Creator, though they apparently have the organ of hearing with the power of tasting the sweet essence of words, because the organ of hearing is gratified only when it hears the words of the wise men, just as the organ of taste is satisfied only when it tastes the six kinds of tastes. Sweet, sour, pungent, bitter, salty, and astringent. This is known to all. The serpents are void of the organ of hearing, yet are enchanted by sweet music. Then why shouldn't those persons that have the organs of hearing, but are averse to hear the Puranas, be thrown under the category of the deaf? O Saumya. Of gentle appearance, hence all these brahmanas, being distressed with the fear of this kali yuga, have come here to Naimasharanya, 
eager to hear the Puranas attentively and are staying here with this one object. Time must be spent somehow or other. Fools while away their time in sports and other evil practices, and the learned pass away their time in meditating on the Shastras. But these Shastras are too vast and very varied. They contain jalpas, debates or wrangling discussions to win over the opposite party, vadas, sound doctrines to arrive at just conclusions, and various artavadas, explanations and assertions recommending vidis or precepts by stating the good arising from their proper observance and evils arising from their omission and also by adducing historical instances for their support, praises, and eulogies. And they are filled with argumentation. And amongst these Shastras again, the Vedanta is Sattvic, the Mimamsas are the Rajasic, and the Nyaya Shastras and Hetuvadas are the Tamasic. So the Shastras are varied. Similarly, the Puranas are of three kinds, Sattvic, Rajasic, and Tamasic. O Saumya, you have recited those Puranas, endowed with five characteristics and full of many narratives. Of these, the fifth Purana, equivalent to the Vedas and with all good qualities, this Devi Bhagavatam yields Dharma and Kama, religion and desires, gives liberation to those who desire emancipation, and is very wonderful. You mentioned this before, but only in passing. You did not dwell on it specially. Now these brahmanas are eager to hear gladly this divine auspicious Devi Bhagavatam, the best of the Puranas, so kindly describe it in detail. O knower of Dharma, by your faith and devotion to your guru, you have become sattvic, and thus have thoroughly known the Purana Sanghitas spoken by Veda Vyasa. O omniscient one, therefore we have heard many Puranas from your mouth, but we are not satisfied, as the Devas are not satisfied with drinking the nectar. O Sutta, fie to the nectar, even as drinking nectar is quite useless in giving mukti. But hearing the Bhagavata gives instantaneous mukti from this samsara, the terrible round of birth and death. O Sutta, we perform thousands of yajnas for drinking the nectar, amrita, but never we got the full peace. The reason being that yajnas lead to heaven only, on the expiry of the period of punya, good merits, the heavenly life ceases and one is expelled from the heavens. Thus incessant sojourns in this wheel of samsara, the constant round of births and deaths, never ends. O knower of everything, thus without jnana, self-realization, Mukti never comes to men wandering in this wheel of time, the Kala Chakra composed of the three Gunas. So describe this holy Bhagavatam, always beloved of the Mamukshas, those that desire Mukti, this secret work yielding liberation, holy and full of all transcendental sentiments, rasas. Thus ends the first chapter of the first skanda on the questioning about the Purana by Shaunaka and other rishis in the Mahapurana Srimad Devi Bhagavatam of 18,000 verses by Maharshi Veda Vyasa. Thanks for listening. Srimad Devi Bhagavatam is best heard from the beginning. So if you just discovered us, please go back and listen to the first episode. Srimad Devi Bhagavatam is a blog, a podcast, 
even a video series. Check the links in the description for our other sites. This is Adya Shakti Swami. Thanks for listening. Find out what happens in the next episode of Srimad Devi Bhagavatam.